uh, back in the day, that when it first came out, it was... <laughs> no. <laughs> when Post Audio first came out, it was using a lot of kernel APIs that no one had really used before. They had existed and they were supposedly stable, but the drivers were not equipped for it. So uh, it just caused a lot of mayhem. And that's why people remember Post Audio as being incredibly unstable. It was actually the drivers. And when Pipewire came along, uh, it just used the same APIs that Post Audio was using and therefore everything was stable already. Can I not? Oh, I can I need to draw this again to can I? My mouse is very slow. Why is my mouse this slow? Uh, let me just get back into the vibe of this game. It's been a week. Are we... Are we not moving? Is it only in the other direction? Okay, cool. And pipe-wise, just all the things. <laughs> you want you to do Jack 2? Okay, no bother. See, that's why I was rather quick to change to Pipeware, because I wanted the Jack integration. Uh, that is, that was absolutely fantastic. I am, I am at this dot. I want to go here again, because there's this one puzzle I didn't complete last time. So let's just go there. So yeah, I'm... Can, yeah, I can go on. And we can see, like it's it's like riding a tram. I can just look out the window and see the landscape flying past me. Well, this is not really flying past me. Yeah, this is transit. We love a good transit system around here. I haven't taken notice of these clouds before. Because these clouds in the middle there appear like they are some sort of riding. You know what, this... We'll just take a screenshot here for the thumbnail. I realized that Steam has thumb uh, screenshotting built in. It only took me two years to realize that. <laughs> I mean, well, I haven't been publishing YouTube videos with thumbnails for that amount of time, but... Uh, also, like this. Let's, let's take a screenshot of this as well. Right. We have a very pretty game today. I've also been playing a bit of the new Satisfactory update yesterday, so that was also a very pretty game. Uh, and that other game was definitely the reason why I got a new GPU. No, it was not, but uh, it, it came in clutch. I believe my old GPU was not that good at Satisfactory. It didn't have a, a lot of RAM. That's a big issue with that game. But this GPU can handle that no problem. No problem at all. Have I explored everything in this waterside maze? I feel like I maybe didn't. I went down some paths, I did a bit of depth first search and then just went on to a different place. So let's see, is there anything we missed here last time? I remember this section. I I remember this section very vividly. See, here's something we didn't have. So we need to do. Yeah, this is this is how we're properly focused. Yes, yes. We need to go through all the dots. And also come out on top there. I feel like I've done something similar like this. This shape feels familiar, this shape of puzzle. Mm, I think going, yeah, if I, if I go right at the beginning, then I cannot go here. I would cut off the, the, the lower sun. So I would have to go here and then I cannot go here, obviously, because I don't have everything. But then I'm cutting off the other sun as well, or I'm cutting off one of the black dots. So it must be like this. And I think I've, I've tried this already. And I'm here. I need to go here. Oh, that works. That works. 
That works. There we go. Let's see, how did we... How did we... Can you... Okay, that makes it shut up. That's good to know. That's cornering ourselves. So I think with these generally, I'm trying to just see if I can see an intuitive solution right away. And if not, then we will need to go about this more systematically like this. That's good. That's just so the puzzle knows I've understand, understand the stakes. Uh, I've understood the stakes, Jesus. Okay, so that's rather easy, but it's gonna get more difficult, isn't it? Yeah, see, that's the issue. Was it, was the rule that I need to have two and two? Yeah, it is. I mean, we could do something like this. Yeah, that works. That was surprisingly easy, or I just found it quickly. I mean, that's always the chance with these things. You, you try something randomly and maybe it just works. Okay, here the rule is these guys need to be blocked and the suns need to be connected. So something like this. Not something like this, but like this. I need to follow the rules that I myself prescribed upon myself. So something to this effect. How long is this path? Oh, that's, that's quite a long thing. Interesting. Does it matter that these colors are different? I mean, not not that the pattern is changed. Uh, the the squares are diagonally placed instead of vertically uh, or vertically paired. But that uh, we had white and black squares, and now we have black and orange squares, and the suns are white. just need to cut these up I, yeah that doesn't okay I mean we can try cutting off like this but then how do we get over we want two of the stars in each group so we need to cut through the middle somehow And also we need to separate all the blacks and the oranges, or do, or do we? So if I do this, then the uh, stars should not complain. Yeah, okay. So the rules are still based on shape, not on color. They're just trying to throw us off, is what's happening. Oh, you looked up how many beams there are. Yeah, I did. <laughs> The thing is, I want to have an indication of how far I am in the game. That's that's helpful for planning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Or oh, something like this could work. Like something to that effect, although that's not quite working with the stars. Right. The problem is... No, I cannot. Hmm. So there's a reason for not telling you. Well, if they had, then too bad. I mean, 
see see that's the thing about spoilers i'm i i don't think most yeah they don't they don't have to plan streams exactly uh also i think most spoilers are not that bad so for example when i was playing death store and well no in death store the game told you that you have three giant souls to collect so uh that's in the game outright but I'm not going into this game with the thinking that there's a big significance to not knowing the exact number of beams. I mean, they're, they're showing beams in the trailer. How many beams did they show in the trailer? I mean, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go on a tangent here. I want, I want to actually get through the game. Um, that brings us back to the issue of how to slice up this here. See, that's the issue. I want to... Oh. Oh. There we go. That's how we do it around here. Interesting. Oh, we're switching the pattern now. Now the squares are on this diamond pattern and the stars are on the square pattern. How does this change our dynamic? I mean, this doesn't work. Oh, this works. The squares don't need to be paired up. Only the stars do. They're trying to throw me off with all these colors. This game must be cruel to the colorblind. Generally speaking, because this game is so much about personal discovery, I think they were just trying to make the experience as pure as possible. Yeah, I can see that. Also, welcome to the stream. Board face is a fantastic name for that kind of game. I mean, that's it's a board. I'm looking at its face in, in geometric terms. Also, a screen really is a computer's face, even if it's not used for traditional facial features most of the time. I'm, I'm getting thrown off by the color changes more than you would expect. The squares need to be separated by color and the stars need to be paired up. Right, so this would be an obvious thing, but probably we need to do. Right, this feels good, but then I'm already here and I don't want to be here at this point. I'm coming here too early. Hmm. How do I get around these so I can separate them out? Oh, they don't like that. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. I cannot get them separated. Hmm. 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 I'm trying to see what is the best angle of attack here. I feel like going to the right here is not going to be the best action plan because if i if i try to separate out the right area first so this uh, pair of stars uh, then i have an issue going anywhere else after this because i need to either loop around like this and then i'm at the exit already or i need to i don't really have any other options if i'm doing this then the green square is included with the orange squares which it doesn't like so probably I need to go somewhere else first. Then the obvious next choice would be here. I mean, I could, can I do something like, then I cannot close it off either. It does feel like a good use of space to, oh, I cannot control properly. It, it does feel like a good use of space to use this corner here, but it doesn't seem to be helping all that much. Right, and something like this. I need to leave open the path forward, and that's the issue here. If we are looking at this from the end, right, we need to separate out this cluster somehow. And that means we need to also cut. 
See, this is something I struggle with on the more advanced places. Like I can see every area, every area with squares needs to have some connection to the border. Otherwise I cannot separate them out like this. Uh, each of these areas, this one, this one, and this one needs to have some open connection to the, to the border. But then where do I put these? Yeah, yeah, shut up. Uh, with this area, it obviously needs to be here, the connection. So I need to be looping around at least like this. And I also need to section off the green dots. So I need to be looping around like this, which suggests, well, either I need to come in from this side and loop around and back out here, like uh, if I were, right, so just to illustrate something like this. Can I make this work? Like right now I have one half section of, can I section of the rest? This pair. I was also considering if, uh, so I will looked up, ruined the game by looking up the beam amount. God damn it, dad. I mean, I could have, I could have fooled you by putting one too much or one too little there. <laughs> Mm. probably you could also just look at the map that the boat has and see it there um, going back to to this thing so either we need to loop around this area like this or we need to come in the other direction like like this but then where do we put the boundary between the two star pairs on the bottom. And I was also thinking whether uh, whether the stars need to be divided up differently, because obviously there's a pattern that the puzzle alludes to, this being a pair, this being a pair, this being a pair. And I'm wondering if the actual solution has a different pairing, but it feels if, if there is a possible different pairing, I don't, I really don't see it because uh, oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? Something to this effect. Oh, shit, there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're, now they're throwing a curveball. Wait, I just found the solution to this one already. Maybe this is just an alternate solution. There is actually a solution that keeps the pairing and now they're trying to throw you off, but I've already solved it. If I can remember how to draw this again. <laughs> yeah, exact same solution. Look at this. I'm always so tempted to screenshot these for thumbnails, but I mean, these would obviously be major spoilers and <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that. Uh, I would like for people to also look at the VODs on YouTube and see, get a glimpse of this game and then go off and play for themselves. Okay, that's an easy one. They're trying to get us reacquainted. Wait. How's that different? How are you different? What is this? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so these guys like only two of their color in the area. Uh -huh. Ha, ha. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I see what they're getting at. So this guy needs to be paired up with one other black. Right? A star wants exactly two of its color is what we're learning. Not just that we want two stars of the same color. A star wants two of its color within the same section. And it also wants nothing to do with these and these also want nothing to do with these so we need to have a demarcation where we have two black like this and this is just an illustration because now what are we going to do here that's not going to work for us but i can see we can make this work like uh, something like this but now we're in a bit of a quagmire over here 
We probably need to come the other way around. Or do we? How do we do, how do we do this? If we come out here once again. So this needs to be connected to the outside somehow. So I'm thinking just straight up this, <clears throat> the line going in reverse, the line just goes around here in the beginning. So we could, oh yeah, that works. See, that's, that's how we're doing it. Getting reacquainted with the rules. See the, this would work if only for the squares, but obviously purple doesn't like that, the purple star. So we need to go, but we cannot do this either. Then the white will complain because white as usual is freaking racist. Shouldn't care about the color of other people's cubes. <laughs> um, how do we do this? We've established that each section of squares needs to be connected to the outside somehow. And this guy, we can't have the section containing the green guy uh, big to get too big. Or maybe, oh, there we go. See, I was thinking we need to have it go out to the right, but actually we need to go to the left. And now we need to cut these guys off, but then what do we do about the rest? Every one of these needs to get their own section. These need to be together because they both want exactly two together and we cannot, so we cannot pair them up with anything else with, with the other cube, uh, with the pink, pink cube. So maybe this time we actually need to go around like this. But then that doesn't work. So we need to have a line here, definitely. We need to separate these out. We have a line here that's set. We have a line here that's set. I feel that it's, I feel like it's gonna be something to this effect. And then that's gonna be the end, but obviously that, that works. The cube doesn't care about the stars. I see, I see. Way to overthink this. But this will not work because cubes don't like cubes. Cubes are not racist about stars is what we've learned here. So I mean, these we probably just need to cordon off like this. And so we have enough space for that. Now we might not have enough space for that, but we have a choice of exit. No. Okay. It's as if this game gets progressively harder with every puzzle in the sequence. So these stars, we can pair them up. So let's start thinking about this like so. Oh, that just works. Oh, oh, where are we going even further? Where are we going? What is this? Can I go over here? So this will not let me fall off. There's some edge. Pro oh. There's some edge protection and also some bafflingly close leaves that have sort of a moire pattern to them. I don't know if that comes through to uh, in the video encoding. I don't see any puzzly things in here, so maybe we need to go in from another from a different side. I was going to make a joke about puzzle games starting hard and finishing easy and then I remembered I played Steven's sausage roll. That sounds like a meal. Not a puzzle game. Ah. 
All right. Cubes do not care. Cubes are not racist about stars. We've learned that. We've established that. We need to be cognizant of that fact. Is that a correct use of the word cognizant? I was using that word and then thinking, wait, is it? Oh, that was the solution, but I m missed the target. I'm a puzzle solving machine today. That's fantastic. Hmm. So I'm trying to group these two together here. It's a Sokoban style game about cooking giant sausages. It starts really hard because it needs to introduce you to fundamental movement mechanics, which it does by giving you a very limited space to work in. I see. So this could work, but then how do I separate out these last four black things? So I think that's going to be an issue. That's kind of the intuitive solution because I'm really just delineating the... Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Remember what I said a minute ago. Cubes are not racist about stars. Is what we've learning here. And then this could also mean we could also divvy this up in a different way. We could also do something like this. But then I'm running into an issue that I cannot draw a border here. So that's a good point. We need to have a border here. We need to have one here. So the line needs to go like this. And by extension, these two are off limits. So we can have just a crossing, uh, a crossing line through here. And this needs to be within the line. Right, in the same way that I was doing in the in this intuitive solution that I had before, like this thing. And this really poses the challenge that I don't know how to split these up. But this doesn't work, yeah. They they don't like being so they are racist against their own kind, so to say. They want to have so they are they are not they're not racist, they're against polygamy. Maybe the metaphor falls apart a little bit, but uh, you can d uh, discuss that in chat while I'm working on this predicament. I was also thinking, can I separate these stars out in a different way? Like, can I pair up this guy with this guy, maybe? That would be a different possible approach. But then, since I need to have this angle, it feels difficult for me to see how I would be able to create a different partitioning than than by going this route. Can I? Does it help to do this in the in a different way? Not really. It just limits my options quicker. <laughs> so that's not going to be very helpful. actually reminds me of uh, a different game that I a different puzzle game that I'm playing just like in meetings when I just have to listen and I need to keep my hands occupied because my my hands are naturally twitchy <laughs> I, I have this urge to move around and I have a puzzle game that I'm playing that is uh, about uh, connecting lines so you get you have a grid like this and you get hints how many uh, lines are lit up around a given square and you need to form a closed loop. So, s somewhat in the in the similar category to this game, and I'm playing just instinctively at this point. I'm <laughs> There's just so many patterns that I, that I recognize uh, immediately that uh, I'm going through this at a very fast rate, and I'm now potentially falling to the trap that I'm now trying to apply rules like uh, Twitchy Hands and One Streamer, exactly, that I'm now trying to apply rules that I know from this game, like this thing of these lines are given, therefore I can clear out these is something that I intuitively see in this other puzzle where I need to form a closed loop. And um, it's kind of like the Königsberg problem. <clears throat> and I think it's, it's, I'm currently getting stuck on that because I need to consider more of the puzzle. Right, so I'm still thinking about how to pair these up differently, but 
Oh, oh. <laughs> there we go. I mean, this is just easy, interestingly enough. But they're going to throw us a curveball now, aren't they? Oh, no. No, that's fine. Oh. We need to be slightly... Oh, right, they, they don't like... Oh, ooh. Ooh. You can try to do something to the effect of this. This is not this is not exactly the way, but something to this effect. I was thinking, are there hard rules that we can apply? And we need to pair these up. So they cannot be together with the white square. So once again, these edges are set. These edges are entirely set, which also means we need to pair these up because same logic as before. These lines, these edges are set. These edges cannot be filled. It's just impossible. If this is already filled out, we cannot go along here, along this corner a second time. So these guys need to be in the same section. Therefore, these guys need to be in the same section. So right, something to this effect. But these guys don't like that there's another white, right? They are, they are the polygamy haters. We've, we've learned this. So we would need to cordon them off. But obviously we cannot do that because now we're at the exit. And that's not going to be helpful. All right, so that would be a valid solution. If we could just get through here, maybe if I hit the corner real hard. <laughs> Um, how do we, how do we do this? How do we, how do we? There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was still in pointing mode. I didn't realize that it was going to throw me out into walking mode. Uh, what do we get from this? I can see something going on over there. What is this? We are going... I don't know if it's significant that the clouds are looking like they make shapes from this angle. Have I been over there? I mean, we can just come back every time we want, so it doesn't hurt to have a look around if we're getting, if there's no progress to be made on one place, we can just try and make progress somewhere else, like up on this tree. Ha! See, that's, that's what we need. Oh, it's a timer, okay. Okay, okay. We cannot jump or anything, right? Yeah, we need to walk. Okay. Thankful Thankfully, I don't know which control to get out of the thing with. There we go. Thankfully, I know how to run. And my, my avatar is able-bodied. Imagine, right, this game is not we. This game is not wheelchair accessible at all. No. Excuse me. How? 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 Do you know something that I do not? This is so weird. From this angle, it looks like a tree, and then from this angle, it's a person. This is entirely disconcerting. 
Can we get some sort of shortcut? It feels like we're going a long way around. And I also I feel like I didn't lose that much time. And I can I can try another time, but I'm guessing. I will try the brute force way another time. And if that doesn't work. If that doesn't work, we need to take inventory of the path and see if there's any hidden things we can potentially use to unlock a shortcut. There is, oh, there is a cube here. So that's, that's actually the end of this area. So that's significant. Maybe we haven't explored everything here yet. As I said last time, I did a depth first search and I just went off to that other area, which by the way is where I was going before I got uh, stuck here. Well, quote unquote stuck. Before I went down this path. There's lots of stuff here we haven't done yet. Like, look at this. So th see, this is puzzle mechanic that we've learned before. The shapes want us to do it like this, but the stars want to be connected. Oh, but we can we can group them differently and we can do we can do it like this. We can put the two on top and the three on bottom. Yeah. And see here the obvious solution would be to have these grouped together so that the three is here and the f the the tetromino is here. Or tetramino, but this doesn't work because of this broken edge. So the first question is, if the stars are within the shape formed by the, by these guys, and I don't think they are because I don't see how we could connect. We we don't have enough uh, material in these tetraminos. We cannot uh, rotate them. So they have a maximum width of three and we cannot get uh, enough distance to cover this big gap. So these two guys need to be connected together in some way. Can we try and fashion them into a big H maybe? So that we do something to this effect and it should work if I come in the other direction. So if I go around here first, yeah, like this. Now we get into turning. So now I was gonna say, <laughs> I can put this straight and put this on the edge to keep these in, but then this guy is not within the, within the area of the shape. Right, so I was, I was thinking something like this, but this doesn't work. So once again, the main question is, is are these stars within the, within the constructed shape? I'm going to call it the, the segment with the constrained shape. And I think they might, we could have the tetromino, tetromino like this and the other bar over here. If we can get these to connect in the right way, like so, that also doesn't work. Well, I need to, if I shift over the tetramino, the, the, the L tetramino by one to the right, then we have both the tetraminos in the shape they create, but not the star. And if we have the, we can either have, if the stars are within the tetramino shape, either this one needs to be 
uh, we, we need to have this guy standing tall. Right, so we need to have this guy standing tall because we need to cover this whole vertical distance and we can only do it if this guy is standing tall in any of the possible orientations. So this guy needs to be either here or here. If he's here, then... Oh, we can do this. Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. Then we have this shape. And I cannot draw. What does this? I'm getting some sort of I'm getting some sort of weird pain in my side. I don't know what that is. Like a poking pain. Maybe I should sit down. Let's sit down. unprecedented no it, it is entirely precedented i've been sitting on the stream before what, what is this anyway so this guy looks like he's carving out a gap for these two stars up here oh and that's entirely possible we can have this just sitting here and then we have these outer two stars forming a group these inner two stars within the shape and these within the little notch. I mean, it works on paper, just from the pure shape language. Can we also make this work in the context of actually drawing out the line? Since this would be a symmetrical solution, it doesn't matter if we start left or right. Right, so something to, yeah, something like this. Oh, that works. So one of these stars needs to be grouped with this pink uh, shape symbol. And we know that, so these guys are gonna, these guys I think are going to complain about their, are they complaining about their color? They are not cubes. So the cubes with orange edges are the ones that are racist about colors. So if I'm just grouping them together, can I, can I group them together and just see how do they, do they complain about being grouped together? So this would be a guy. The problem is I need to get a full line to even check what they complain about. And that's the rule. I'm kind of unsure what if I can group these together, but I feel like Probably. These all taken together are enough to cover the vertical distance all the way to the bottom. But they need to be fairly aligned to, to this edge. Because I need to also reach this and I don't have anything that really works for reaching to this side besides this single piece. So I could put this here, put the uh, purple one here and have the other guy like this. So something to this effect, which obviously that screws me over as you can see, but uh, that would be the rough idea. The problem is if I want to do that, I need to have the line come out here I need to I need to draw this interior line at some point and I can't do that because at this one I cannot do anything else so that can't be it the other option would be to group not with this guy but with this guy which would fit nicely we put this J tetromino over here uh, no we can't if you put this here, we don't have enough leverage to get all the way down here to even pick it up. Huh. If we put this guy, like if we do, and this could be potentially entirely wild 
of the shape. I mean, technically, this delineated area would be would be fitting the bill of the J in the bottom, the purple on top, and then the uh, the the orange. Uh, what is tetramino is for tri trimino? I, I guess I'm guessing trimino uh, going off to the right, but uh, yeah, this shape has some obvious issues. <laughs> I mean, otherwise it works. We just need to invert the orientation. We would need to have it go here first. Right, like so. Yeah, that works. That works. So this was the cutting piece where we can uh, we can co rotate and combine these any way we like, and then we cut something out. And that works easily. We can rotate these to form a, a 2 by 4 block like this, and then we cut out this section and obtain this piece. And now they're taking the cutting away from me. We have a J piece and an L piece. So these don't fit together as tidily. But we have this two, two block thing to make it work that we can slot to one of these corners, for example, to make an entire two by three. And we can either have this group just lying somewhere, <laughs> where we could we could try and have these uh, grouped together and trying to reach places to pick up two of these stars. Or we could have a group just composed of the orange ones, in which case, oh, sorry, in which case we need to separate these out. So we would once again have these, this edge and this edge mandatory. <clears throat> and well, we don't necessarily need this edge, but I honestly can see <clears throat> how that would be attainable. If we also need to group the stars together by color, I'm sorry. <clears throat> is this better? Yeah, slightly better. My body is falling apart today. What's going on? <laughs> so it's probably not feasible to have the orange pieces just form their own group. They need to pick up one of the groups of uh, stars and then just by the way they're placed most likely the purple ones because if they are grouped with the green ones I mean I, I cannot see how I could even reach this far with this little amount of pieces and also I need to have this guy be grouped with this guy which I don't see happening at all <clears throat> so if we have these two that's already well that's already we cannot rotate this one Oh, we can have we can have the J down here. We can have the L up here, and we can fit this in. The, no, we cannot fit it in this corner because this is not rotatable. Oh no! So if this were rotated just horizontally, instead we could uh, draw out a shape to this effect. No, this is, uh, no, if this would be wrong, hold on. Am I thinking about this incorrectly? I was, I was thinking of, I was thinking of putting the J like this, but obviously this also doesn't work. Oh, but we can, we can have the L over here. Then the vertical piece uh, is, is these guys, uh, these two guys that I'm going between right now. And then we can have the L cross up here and we need to cut this part out right but this is another case of we need just need to invert it and I need to remember what I just said no wait it was not uh, no it's slightly different because that's two L shapes but I need a J shape and I can make that on this side I can make 
Wait, I'm... Am I just seeing things wrong? That isn't... I'm always doing L shapes. I need to do it... Hold on. Pause. This is an L shape. This is a dash. And this would be another L shape. J shape is either this or this. Both of these don't work for me. I could try putting the the vertical piece somewhere else. So I could say L shape, J shape. No, but then I don't have anything that connects up here if I need to reach that high. And also I need to reach to this as well. This is a J shape. This is an L shape. And I can put the two p the two square piece over here. So this is J. This is L. This is okay. So this is L. This is J. But then also this is the two square piece, and that's it. Oh, what are you? What are you about? I mean, I don't have... Are you pointing at an edge that must be taken? Is my reward knowledge... Was my reward knowledge all this time wait i've i've been here that is the one that i got stuck on for uh 18 minutes i looked it up uh, in the recording last time it's i i just didn't go this way and then i got this and i also could look out at this wreckage of a ship And also I'm slumping in my on my stool, which is not a good not a good thing for my back that is already aching. So we have all of these bridges that appear to be fallen apart. And what can we do about those? We have this area where we could ascend to the door that won't open for us. Has anything changed about this? It doesn't appear so. This path over there leads in this other area. <clears throat> we have this path leading to the to the door that we cannot get open or get to stay open for long enough. Trying to see. I shouldn't be running through this. I should take proper stock of what's around here. If I've missed anything. I don't think the game, at least until now, it, it, they haven't really been unfair about uh, hiding puzzles. Something like that. I don't think they've done that yet. It's always been reasonably clear if there's going to be a puzzle somewhere. So the cube is definitely in there. And I want to I want to interact with it. I want to learn its secret. I feel like there is a laser beam hidden inside. If only. It's also unsettling how calm these waters are. Like over here, over there you can see little waves, but this is just entirely undisturbed, which is Paradoxically disturbing. Have I, re have I really missed? Have I not missed? I must have missed something. There are all these houses that I cannot get to. What is that about? Is that just ambient storytelling? I don't think so. Oh. 
that's a path. Did I take... No, I did take that path. There are two wires here. What is this about? Is there a puzzle on the other side? I cannot see from this angle. I don't know, does... Do these maybe extend? I feel like I'm grasping at straws here, but... Also, this is just completely disconnected from everything else, which is weird. I mean, not entirely unheard of, but... But odd, nonetheless. So this is the way I came in. Uh, so I unlock this door. Now we're back at the, at the boat. And there's a second path here. I didn't mean to click. Oh, there are more paths here. This is just to look. This too is just to look. This feels somewhat significant as if this was going to make a shape if you look at it from the right angle, the way there's some color on, on these beams. Can we try and view this from a different angle and see if that leads to anything significant? If there is a significant shape being formed, I don't see it. It honestly just looks like a normal wreckage without any particular significance to how its beams are arranged. Not from this view either. There's also this pillar. What is what is what is that about? We've seen a bit of this last time on one of the other pillars I made a symbol. I, I solved a puzzle that put a single symbol in there, or maybe two, I don't remember fully. So, yeah, there's, there's two possible solutions here, and... Right, so this opens the bridge back up. There's a kind of static noise. This is coming from this... Possibly. I don't see anything that I can operate here. I want to close this off. If I close this off, can I come into the come into this from the other side? I'm always I'm always trying to press escape to get out of this mode. I cannot just jump off like this. I'm a bit on rails with my movement. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can use the boat to get to the other side somehow. We've already seen that we were constrained in the places we could go over on this place that we came from. The next stop would be this, and then potentially I can come back from this side. Because this seems more traversable than the side that I'm currently on. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, wait. Where did I start counting? Okay, four, five, eight, eleven, we have fifteen. 
roughly 15 symbols. Like this is the tutorial thing. I remember that. And this, I think, also tutorial vibes. Maybe this entire thing. So it could be that these 11 are the beams. Maybe, potentially, who knows. And I mean, I am indeed working backwards now from the knowledge that I already have. So... It's obviously cheating, as, as one might say. <clears throat> Under the assumption that knowing or not knowing the number 11 is significant. Oh. So this is where we were last time. We didn't use this catwalk at the side here, didn't we? I don't remember doing that. So this is a place we have not been to yet, as far as I'm aware. Oh, there's a bigger drawbridge here, is there? Like I can see, that's the sign for calling the boat, so this bridge here might be where we exit. Maybe we extend our little bridge and then this thing comes down as well. Oh. Excuse me? This transit service is defective. I feel cheated. Where do we go from here? I believe this is where we hopped on the boat last time and then we made our way here because this looked interesting. Also, this entire wreckage is marked as a thing on the map here. Oh, and I can decide which way I want to go, so I can now loop back a different way. I want to try that. See, does that route do anything different for us? Can we maybe see something interesting there? And maybe that's going to be a huge waste of time, we'll see. get really up close with this map. Now we want to take in the sights. Want to see the level of detail switches happening there. So before we branched off and well we uh, took that path through the wreckage and now we are going around the wreckage. Even though there will be no opportunity for us to disembark this may be Potentially interesting to see. For example, we can observe against all odds this wreckage supports life in the form of trees growing here. So that maybe they had a big shipment of dirt. Maybe the finest soil from foreign continents. And they overloaded the ship and that's why it sank. It's human hubris expressed in a single view. Or maybe it's just a plant that grows in water and that's where it uh, where it latched on to this artificial reef, so to say. I feel like the, these green lines, they're going to form a shape from the right point of view. Maybe I'm just conditioned by the game, but I mean most of what the game does is condition me to view things in a certain way, so you can't really fault me for that, can't you? That's so we have all of this. I, I so want to draw on this. What is it? Is this a sign that we're getting close, this bell? Is that maybe what it is? 
I so feel like we're going to be able to draw a line across this entire thing. And there's going to be a puzzle mechanic where we need to do this while... while the ship drives around. That's going to be a big thing. Because you can see, for example, this connects to here at some point. Oh, we're getting close. Oh, you know what? I think we need to have the... Have the path loop around in some way, so maybe like this. We need to take note of this and do this at some other time. Right, because maybe maybe you can start over there or something like that. Then draw out. Whatever. Um, let's do... Since I'm now here once again, let's go over to this castle and see. We should have the requisite knowledge now to do the... Uh, do the puzzle for the cube in the castle. Or may maybe we will. We'll see. The one that just entirely terrified me last time. Because obviously there's lots of other things to explore and it's probably going to help to have a look at the other mechanics. Because as we saw with the puzzle in here, on top of this tower, it's going to be... Oh, how do I get back up? I believe I opened up a path somewhere to take a shortcut. Not this. We have this entire garden section that we haven't done. We have only done... Have we done this? this how's this looking or you can get an overview of what we already did I mean you can just go through this entire area see these people here turn to stone can I I believe this is the shortcut to the end right yeah that's the guy that I put in the thumbnail last time and we're going to disregard his advice and use this path, even go through it backwards. Oh, I thought that was going to be a mirror. <laughs> but it's actually a window. We can ascend. Let's see if we might be able to solve this puzzle now. It appears we know everything there is to know about this. We need to separate out these. And because of this gap, we're going to need to do it here so we can loop around like this and separate these all proper like. So we, just to show what the principles are here. We could do something to this effect. Not like this, because... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's already tricky. We need to go through these. And that means we need to collect this entire edge because this doesn't connect. We need to have all of this. We need to be here, separate this out in some way. And we can only do it turning around like this. And then also we have all of these that we need to line up in some way. Potentially into a, a single shape. And we also need to come out at this edge here. Right, so this is the thing that... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not drawing the right shape. We need to come out here. We need to group these together. So maybe I'm, I'm already seeing as an option. Oh wait, that's not an option. Thinking about how to group these. Do we want to group all of these together is the first question. Maybe we don't want to. So these are J shapes. 
So I could do as the exit, I could do something to this effect. I remember last time when I was here, people told me I don't have all the knowledge that I need to, to solve this puzzle. And I'm sort of confused what that actually means. Because I believe all these mechanics were taught within this puzzle area. So what is happening here is that each of these four quadrants down there is an individual puzzle that has the same shape as one of the quadrants of this puzzle. And now we need to find a path that goes through all of them simultaneously and fulfills all their constraints. Right, so if we look down there. Yeah, you can see, for example, these two tetraminos, and you can see them drawn out here in the same way. And same with these down here. Although in that particular uh, case, I had a, a rotational symmetry thing. There was a subtlety that you weren't aware of at that time, but now you are because you've been through the shapes era. Is it? Or is it the rotating thing? Because uh, yeah, that that could it could be the rotating thing. So now the question obviously is how much of this is connected together and in which way. Of, of these shapes, just how do we put these at all? And why am I tired? It's only 9 p.m. And so these, if I leave them rotated, when you were here last, you didn't know the shapes who can be combined in the way they can. That's right. That is, that is absolutely correct. That is absolutely correct, and also I see how that would have screwed me over, because if this must be on its own, then how could this ever be... Yeah, okay. I see. I see, I see. Which of these do we group together? With two J shapes, the obvious thing to combine them into is a 2 by 4 box. That would give us some vertical leverage, but not enough to get all of these grouped together. That's a two by four box. And then you have five height if you put this on top and you have seven height because we cannot rotate this J. We can just put it somewhere. We can also not use this guy to fashion it into our box because we need to have these rotated in the other direction just to do that and at all. But I feel like we need to narrow down this left section first. That's, that feels like it has more constraints. And once we've done that, I mean, we could have this be, and I'm only drawing out the last group here now, but we could have these connected like this. Right, so these guys, these guys are fine with this. And that's actually taking up a lot of uh, space that could be quite helpful for us. And we could have this guy just sitting at the top here and we could draw it uh, out on, on the border like this. If we come across this outer border, that would then be the constraint. And maybe that's what we need to take into consideration. Uh, I feel like we can do this. So we would need to be would need to be on this side. But I, wa I want to come out here. I want to be on the outer edge here to draw the shape in the inverse. Right? Have this have this uh, tetramino with its face with this face exposed. <clears throat> so I would come in here and I would delineate these on this side, which also makes sense because I cannot close this edge. I need to leave this edge open. If I'm doing this, and I can, 
and I can maybe come in. Oh, but this, but these are these are both disconnected. How do I? How do I? Does it even matter? Right, let's just let's just try and see. If I'm doing this. Now I'm running into trouble because I wanted to draw out the. I wanted to draw it out like this and this. But if I do so, I need to have this edge closed off. If I'm starting out with this edge. No, I can't. I need to draw the entire boundary up until I hit the the perimeter again. I need to draw the entire boundary of the area. And I can't I cannot really do that, can I? I mean or maybe I can. Let's try and do this in sort of reverse. I'm gonna back myself into a corner here, but this is about formulating a plan. About laying down ground rules. And now I'm screwing myself over here. Because we need to take this edge as well as this one. Oh, you know what? We don't. We can move this guy. Instead of having him here, we can move him over and have this entire thing be an area. So uh, have... Uh, have this entire section like this. But then again, when we go here, we definitely need to go here to the left. Or, or, well, we need to turn left coming in this direction. And coming in this direction, we need to turn left and continue on the perimeter here. But how's that? That means we cannot have this part of this thing because we wouldn't be able to constrain our shape properly. Except if we put all of these in there to somehow make it possible. If we put this guy here, well, if we, if we choose, if we use more of these, we don't need to put it all in one big, we don't need to put it in this order. We could have the, uh, the eye, Tetromino over here, for example, we could have then we could have this guy, this this J shape. Well, we need to reach both of these if we want to do that. I definitely need at least this piece for leverage. I can put this guy down here, that's fine. Uh, that's just however the line comes out in the end. This space here is rather unconstrained. Well, it is entirely unconstrained any even. So we can have this, put it here, connect up with this, use, and we need to go here, and we need to go, so we'd have, it's both, they're both J's, they don't fit together with it, uh, each other, but we could have them like this and like this. I mean, that's a, that's an incredibly wild shape if we do this. It would be, no, that's not, that's even, that's not even possible, is it? It would be something like this. I mean, that's technically the shape I want to make, but you can see how I'm locking myself in here. There's no way I can get there, actually. And also, no, it's not the shape that I want to make because I'm only... The shape that I would have to make is actually just this part and not this entire thing over here. No, this cannot be... This cannot be... Every single one of these pieces is screwing me over relative to each other. These guys are somewhat forcing my hand to go through here in some way. But I'm, I need to come out either here or to one of these edges and then... 
See, that's my, that's my other issue. If I'm, aha, I'm cutting this off first. I'm doing this shape. But then once again, I don't have enough space to fit this eye Tomino anywhere. It needs to be horizontal, so it cannot be anywhere on this height because I cannot reach over to encompass it. And if I want to, well, I can I can put it down here, but then I don't have enough vertical leverage to get to use the J's to include all of this. I can put the J's like so. This being the area that I delineate, but obviously it's missing one of the J tetrominos. And also, just to spice things up, I haven't touched this guy yet. And that's another big issue. Shit. This is really on another level. I mean, it is one of the boss puzzles, so to say, but still. This guy is really throwing off all our calculations in some form. Because whatever shape it is, we're including this guy in. If we're doing it over here, it'll touch on some of these. And just make our life so much harder to, na to navigate around it. Because if I'm intent on cutting this off, I, I need to cut this off. We need to have a line here. We need to have a line here. And probably is there. So since, I mean, uh, there, there's, they're obviously trying to get you to just draw the line through here, but Technically, we could make a detour here, pick up something else along the way, like this dot, for example. Right? We could do, once we're in here, we could do an, an entire detour down here, pick all of these up, go around like this. But then again, right, because we're doing this, we need to get here somehow. And I don't see... So if we're doing this, and now we're going down here to pick up this guy, right? We have the white dots fully cordoned off. But once again, you can see that I'm already using lines here. So the question is, how do we build up the shapes with this stupid horizontal eye tetromino on the left side that doesn't fit anywhere we, we can actually use it and we also cannot just say we're taking the long way around so starting off by going from the start first in this direction that i'm indicating here so to the left because we need to keep this exit open. I somehow, f I, I do feel like this shape that I've drawn on the right is sufficiently wild that it could be the actual solution. It feels sufficiently constrained. Well, it's not entirely constrained. There are technically variations that I could do there, but at least all the vertical edges, they feel necessary. There's not much room to optimize something away, given that there's two spots I need to go through, two edges that must be visited. And 
and I could say so this is a uh, this is this one J piece I could pick that up like this and I could try to glue the other J piece oh yeah huh? Huh? hold on that's two J pieces that's that's it shit told you that was the right solution on the right there you go that's our prize fabulous cash prices and our cash price today is well that's not a cash price it's a free laser eye surgery just look really deep into this great time to hydrate we'll be watching that laser for oh we're I'm looking at the wrong okay here we no no ah can I well, the thing has a different color from when I'm close to it see now it's now it's oh it's pulsing okay I was just moving in in the right rhythm to be what is this this gonna be is this the DLC do we need to come back for this later so there is more going on in this there's this entire maze garden that I haven't explored yet how do we, how do we? I don't think there are any paths I missed here. I can see puzzle. Did I, did I go in there? I should totally be able to go in there. That's where he came from. That's where he came from before then. You cannot stop me. Was this? I mean, it doesn't seem like it had a door, so maybe this was open before. We I mean, just to find a way we can actually make progress. Because this is what this game is really about, making progress. See that? Trying to see if we... Ah! What do you mean, no? Oh, I see. I, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have an inkling what they want of me. See, that's why we have a viewing platform up here. I have an inkling. Yeah, this, this matches what we're seeing here. So, hold on. I have a fantastic photographic memory. It's very easy, actually. I just look at it. And then... I shall be able to remember in perfect precision where exactly the paths are. We just, well, I mean, I can trace out my steps uh, also. So we are going here like this. So that would be like so. See? And that also opened up a shortcut for us, didn't it? Amazing. So we have the next entrance here. And I can see a similar structure, but this time it appears we can just go whatever way. No? What do you mean? I literally came this way. Why should this be not allowed? I can see the cable is running in a specific way, but I mean, that's not really a path that's on here. I mean, it's coming from here to there. I'm wondering.
I'm wondering. Does this... Does this constitute a rotation of the previous puzzle? I don't think so, no. No, no, no. So this guy over there had a dead end. And right over, over there. It had a dead end. And this guy doesn't. Uh, no dead ends here anyway. So... What are they trying to have us see? Do we need to water the plants first? Is that it? Could that be the reason why progress is blocked from us? Let's take in the gander. I mean, this kind of looks like a key shape, but I don't know what to make of this information. This doesn't prescribe anything about which path to take. I'm actually going to stand up again. <laughs> it's it's so weird sitting down for this. I'm just constantly slouching over. <laughs> because when I'm sitting, I'm trying to lean towards the microphone. And that's not good for your posture. That's why I have a standing desk. That's why I have this mic arm so I can move this thing to a comfortable position. And... Oh, there we go. Two lasers. It's kind of a weird angle. It's it's looking like a single line. Just connecting. Well, it's not coming out as perfectly a single line as a slight bend from most perspectives. Perspective is also a wild thing. Anyway. What do we make of this? Can we observe any structures that appear significant to us within the maze? We have these flower bushes, or sp more specifically rose bushes, if I'm mistaken. But everything in here is wilted so that's kind of odd it's the only sector of the garden that is wilted is there anything here that doesn't match up with the with the diagram. I don't think there is. This appears to line up perfectly. Very odd indeed. Am I is this another case wait there a, a path opened up oh never mind I, I was going to say a path opened up there but I cannot get there this is the door that would lead me there so this is not really opened up it, it was al always open probably is this another case and that's a direct question, question to chat is this another case where I'm missing a mechanic that I need to discover elsewhere just so that I'm not wasting everyone's time here. Or is this something that I need to figure out right here now? Also, didn't count up the beam. Forgot about that. Now you can solve it here. Interesting. So I need to use my brain, maybe bash it against the store. That might help. I mean, how many paths are there really to try out? Well, I can just. I mean, I said before that this somewhat looked like a key. What is. 
And that was that was probably this shape here. So th this being the handle and this being the what do you call it in English the part of the key that you put in the lock? <laughs> I only know it in German. I believe in German it's the Bart. Uh, I mean, but you know, we how would we encompass that? Like, I never needed to refer to a key with that level of detail. <laughs> I mean, we can just, yeah, Wikipedia key. Uh, I find it fantastic that the first thing they show is key crypt cryptography, an object needed to open a mechanical lock. Do we have, do you have a diagram of, uh, do we have a, di no, I don't, I, I'm not in the mood to donate, thank you. Uh, keyhole for receiving a key. Does it not? I was I was fully expecting just oh there we go. The blade, the keyblade. Oh my god, <laughs> the keyblade of course. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all this time it was just a pun in Kingdom Hearts. Um. We have some, ah, you know what? I see, I see, I see. Do I have, I have paper, have I not? Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, let me get just a drawing of the pattern presented to us. Just the base layout. And then we're going to draw the right path into this. So this is the network that we're working with. And from the start, we're going to look for the path that doesn't have any grass growing on it. Right? Is that it? Because you can see it's blocked off here, so we can, I can cross out this edge. And I can also cross out this one up here. So we really only can, can go to here. And then this is blocked off. And then also this is blocked off. Is that hatch? Yeah, teeth. Uh, apparently, the keyblade has teeth. That's that's a good riddle question, right? Like, which blade has teeth? And then you people need to figure out you're talking about a key. So we need to go up here. Then this is also blocked. And then at this point, wait. Wait, I feel I've, like I've X'd out all the paths now. We can come... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, we are sufficiently constrained now. Nice. And this is now open to us for fast travel. Quote, unquote. We have a few places that we can... Exp We have what could be powdered coal or some other kind of pigment spilled on the floor. Drawing out what could be construed to be the shape of a human body, maybe right, like the bit of artistic license. We have over here pathway into a garden, at least a door that has a structure of a tree in it in itself. 
and we have gravel paths leading to another maze. I feel I figured this one out already. You hear that? There's a sound element to this one. So once again, we're going to take this diagram, replicate it on our paper, and then we're going to take a listen. So this time we have the full perimeter available to us. I have a line here. And so, and so, I mean, that's kind of weird that you cannot see this, but really, I'm not really doing anything interesting. I'm really just copying this maze onto my paper. And we're going to go back to the start and we're going to see if we can't. So this is the sound we want to hear. And this edge evidently it's not available to us. This edge is also not available to us. So the population is first turned into stone, then also burned. What a cruel game. Indeed. Also, welcome Hobby Blobby. We are currently trying to solve this maze by seeing where I can walk without the sound changing. I mean this so this is also blocked off but it's also not really useful. So we can reach this place from where we started without any sound changes. Yeah. So now let's see I'm specifically checking, I'm, I'm seeing that I'm hearing all the sounds. Oh, there we go. See, this little thing, why well, not just this little thing, but this edge is not available to us. Oh. This entire crossing, where where am I actually? I mean, to make sure I'm not getting confused, but this entire corner here is blocked off to us. Wait. All of this sounds off limits. Yeah. So this is all blocked. And this as well, or this actually. So we need to go here, then, no, not here. We need to come here, go there. And now we need to take a turn, come around the long way, which corresponds to this path. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, so far we've had visible barriers. We've had uh, leaves on the ground. We, now we had sound. What is going to block our path this time? Huh. This map here just doesn't correspond to what's down here, isn't it? Yeah, so for example, I'm standing right just by go just going by the size of this area, I'm standing in the middle of this corner, but there's a path going to the left here which doesn't exist on the map. So probably what we need to figure out is uh, the overlap between the diagram shown here and what is actually possible in the real world. So we need to try to map out a path 
uh, within the map that we can also take in the real world. So I'm just gonna put down on my map, on my paper, a 4x4 grid with the requisite entrance and exit marked out. And now we are gonna X out all the edges that don't exist on the map. And then we're gonna go through and also take stock of which edges don't exist in the real world. Or in the, in the world of the game anyway. And then that should plot a path towards victory. All right. So let us go back to the start. And we can see right away the edge forward doesn't exist. But all the other edges going straight from here do. Next we have all the edges existing except for the second one. So this one's going to be removed. And all the other edges don't exist on the map. Right, you can see it here. The second edge from the bottom is the only one that exists, but this edge is cut off here. So this is entirely inaccessible to us. Now we have first edge existing, second edge existing, third edge doesn't, fourth edge doesn't. So third edge gets deleted. We're gonna look here. We can see first exists, second doesn't, third exists, fourth exists. Fantastic. And finally, and it's slightly different, difficult to see, but first doesn't exist, second exists, third and fourth don't exist. Whereas on the map they all do exist. So we're xing out one, three, and four. Now, same thing again with the horizontal lines, starting from the top, and we can see one exists, two exists, three does not exist. So xing that one out, that one that's over here. We have first one existing, second existing, third existing, not the fourth. I feel like I'm xing out all the lines. <laughs> but we're just gonna continue through. First exists, second doesn't, so I need to go around. Third exists, fourth doesn't exist. Second and fourth xed out. First exists, second exists, third doesn't exist, but fourth exists. That's fine, that matches what's on the map. Here we have uh, first existing, second not, third exists, fourth exists. Yeah, okay. Okay. Now to plot a course. And I'm gonna draw this on my local map here first. The path is sufficiently constrained that it's actually not all that difficult. And we're gonna walk it in the game world and then we're gonna draw it on the map. So our path is gonna take us two to the right, one forward, two to the right, one forward, one left, two forward, one left, and we're here. There we go. Oh, and that just brings us back here. So we could have completed that instead of all the other stuff? I think it's kind of weird. Anyway, we did it. We did done it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the thing that I thought looked like numbers, like 1257. <laughs> but it's totally not 1257 right now, so I don't know. Seems like fake news. I mean, a broken clock is 
uh, a, a stopped clock is right twice a day, isn't it? And that is... I saw when I was... Oh, didn't notice that part when I was coming in, I believe. Kind of concerning. I noticed when I was going around on the boat that there's a catwalk on the back side. Is that accessible to us? Have I accessed that? I don't believe I did. Yeah, I just went through here, didn't I? Can I... Can I access... I can. No, not really. Oh, I can access it. Is that going to help me, though? Is it going to help me get into... Interesting. Ah, it is. Ah. Ah. I feel like I'm revealing uh, much more about my process here. Although the process used to... Oh. Ah. Ah. We're on the boat now. How's that gonna help? Is that gonna help? I mean, I can see the green edge again, and my, as I said, my hypothesis is that I'm gonna draw out this at some point. Once I find the correct starting location and starting viewpoint. So we're going to take note of the fact that we can enter the ship from this side if we ever desire. Other than that, we seem to be blocked off from further progress right now on this side. But this is going to be useful and I'm definitely going to forget about it. But anyway, all of, the, all of this is accessible to us now. And that's gonna come in handy later. Maybe, who knows. Wait, that's another... That's another one of these uh, bodyguards and he's carrying a sword. Oh, this bodyguard was also carrying a sword. Or oh, like, well, not, not a bodyguard. I mean, this thing is reads as bodyguard, but his pose is reading as bouncer. And the fact he has a sword obviously reads as knight. So, uh, I mean, knight club is uh, a homonym of knight club. So, who knows? That could be significant. We have other places that we have yet to explore over here. Maybe we can be granted entrance into this structure. But it appears... Oh, you know what? This is the... We have been here. This is the other side of the temple where we were solving puzzles last time. There, are, There's my solved puzzles. So this world is not as big as I had previously anticipated. Yeah, this is where we, where we were in here before. And we have this puzzle that I can't figure out how to solve. this drawing which feels like I need to look at it from the right angle to see something like through this hole maybe have this be lined up properly in, like this right it, that feels like it's so close to lining up and showing something in the same way that this does or, or this does. 
So we have this, this puzzle, which I believe was described to me as one of the difficult ones. I cannot even grab this while I'm looking at, at the right angle, but I think it was similar to it was similar to this one where you need to look, you need to see how it's looking and then step away from it and input the right path. But for this one, I saw that the nubbin for the start point was uh, lining up and also the edge pointing out was lining up. Whereas with this, we have, well, we have the same thing lining up, but it's not connected. Right, we have this tree shape. It's not pointing in any particular direction. It's going out various directions like down here and I mean this doesn't fully line up so it could be I mean this lines up this corner right so this thing here when I line everything up folds perfectly in this corner so it could be going here or it could also be going like so do I actually want to put this down maybe I want to put this down let's do a drawing let's do a quick draw put on the grid we're marking our start we have the branch going here with the branch going three down uh, going one over, one up, one over. We also have it going to the left and then going one and a half down. So this thing is not properly lined up, as you can see. And furthermore, we have the exit over here. And we have this branch going just like so. I mean, this one was set as not requiring any guesswork. But if I'm going to guess that this is the most specific path that the, the upper branch takes, and down here we need to take this part. But this is not going to work. The other thing that I thought about was that we need to take all the edges There's a way to solve this without guessing, yes. That is terrible. <laughs> but I also want to solve it. I mean, it could be something with negative space like this, but the thing that throws me off is that this notch and this pointing edge aligns so perfectly in in this particular viewpoint that it really seems like you're supposed to use this and follow the edges prescribed by the tree the other thing i was thinking was to specifically not use the edges that the trees used but then again there's too much variance here right so i mean obviously that's too easy but if we're not using the edges that the trees do, then we cannot go here, so we must go here. We cannot go here, so we must go here. Then this is our first part of choice because the tree doesn't extend that far. The tree goes in that particular shape over here. So there's uncertainty, and we cannot have that. I can't have uncertainty in my puzzle game just hypocrisy why can't I mean no those are just the trees I was going to say is that something something glowing I can grab let me know if you ever want super vague hints um, I obviously do not have and, and that is a direct question now. I obviously do not have all the information to solve this puzzle yet. Is the information that I need within this building or 
to be precise, visible from within this building. Because I'm thinking there's something here with these particular holes. But if I line them up correctly, they will tell me something. In specific, this one. This feels way too significant. And it feels like it could be made to line up if I knew what I was looking for. Like this is... It is visible within the building. That is terrible. Like so, no. Something like that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is... An angel-like figure, so like a person with wings uh, playing a musical instrument, and they also have talents. So that is quite concerning. Hold on. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> Most curious indeed. But what is it telling me? Now you know how to solve the puzzle. Grab your clarinet, clarinet and start stripping. Um, yes, I will... <laughs> At 1,000 followers, I will reveal my talents on stream. <laughs> uh, anyway. This? Hmm. We have this... We have this set of branches that clearly relates to this puzzle. We have this other set of branches that relates to this puzzle, and I don't think they can be made to fit any other way because they just don't line up if i'm trying to force them to line up here it doesn't work hmm i'm not This thing here also, can we line this up in a useful way? I feel like this is going to be even more difficult to line up to anything. I mean, well, oh, there we go. There we go. But what is that going to help? Star, star, star. Let's line up this once more and see. Where was it? Oh, we... We, uh... Just a clip. Wait, why was that blocked? Can I, can I unblock that? It's, it's actually only showing stars for me and nothing else. Are you sure you pasted that correctly? So here the figure is, they have the talents, but they don't have their wings. Over here they do have their, their wings. How do I, how do I, how do I? Yeah, like so. question is where's my clarinet and that is the same figure right if I look at it from here where is it where is she like so now the person is not even drawing uh, it's not even playing it's it, they're just waving at least that's what it looks like so we're waving then we're playing then we get wings 
is what I'm gathering from this. I don't know how that relates to solving this particular puzzle in any way. That's quite devious. Yeah, that's how we opened up this building in the first place. Also, these are the... Oh. I believe there's more glyphs on there now than last time. I don't remember these being quite so much. Those are the ones that I drew out. Yeah, that's like glass and uh, so for example this thing that's shaped like glass, like a, like a drinking glass, is... Well, it's not visible. The, the blinds are closed. Can we, can we open up? Can we just open up those blinds, please? Jesus, that's loud. Yeah, but if that's the glass, the one that's being uncovered here right now. We have this one, We've already drawn out. That one appears to not be mirrored there, what is happening? Would you be able to give a vague hint of any vagueness of your choosing as to this puzzle? Because I am just so confused what I'm supposed to see within this building. I can see this patterning on the roof. I can't... Hmm. I haven't... I haven't taken stock of these roots yet. But if the roots are going to be significant, in which way? I don't see them being aligned in a, in a clear enough way that would lend itself towards solving that particular puzzle. Then we have, obviously we have everything that's on eye level. That's just the puzzles that we've already solved. The trees the twigs and branches that served as clues towards those puzzles, but then they do not fit on here. I mean, wait. I mean, that middle one kind of fits in I mean, sort of it's somewhat tenuous. If it does, I'm going to draw that out very lightly here. This shape that I'm seeing. But I don't think it's actually it's actually that. I mean, it's fitting coincidentally because I was drawing out on a different uh, on a different grid a different puzzle solution. And also then I don't think that will actually help me in any way. It's only that middle section that somewhat lines up, which on this thing was doing this part. And if I'm trying to line that up here, I don't... One of the previous puzzles in this area has a detail to its presentation that is similar to what you need to do here. So we had, in this one, it was negative space. As you can see here. It's just the space that's left over, we need to use that. On this side... What did I do here? On this side it was this thing that I used, and once again negative space. So that actually just cut off all the paths that I cannot take. On th this was the first puzzle where I was using positive space, where it was just drawing out the paths that I need to take when looking 
from the right angle. And in the way that the first two rhymed, I was thinking of these two as also rhyming. Had a certain detail to its presentation. I mean, these two have... Detail to its presentation. I don't know if it's significant, but we're seeing less and less, uh, less and less leaves on these. But these are both entirely barren. It's not under just looking at the entirely wrong grid. And I should be looking at this one instead. No, I mean I cannot get this to line up. I'd, I'd also thought about making this work in negative space, but right, like so, like having this one also block paths instead of opening them up, or instead of marking them, but then one, once again there's, there's choice left. I could go around here and not uh, interfere with these branches as they are currently within my view. I mean, there are other puzzles in this area that we could have a look at. These blinds are shut now. These ones are open. I mean, they're also about this entire thing of drawing out a shape, making it align the right way. I cannot show this here because this one uh, requires the blind being closed as it's being completed. But for example, this one we've drawn out in this way by just looking at it from the right angle. And that's very similar to what we had before. This one also, we could put ourselves in the right position and draw this one out. One of the previous puzzles in this area has a detail to its presentation. A detail. A detail. I'm going to go and close the blind so I can look at the other set again. Don't know, do I need to do it from the other side here to flip it over? It's so loud. The rest of the game is so quiet and then it's just poofs. This was another thing of negative space, the deafness, exactly. This was another thing of negative space, so we look, need to look at this the right way. This one was similar, but off to the side for, uh, for a bit. And we need to do get glued in on one side and then solve it on... Well, no, it's, it's just like this. That's a good hint. You mean negative space? Also, welcome in. I mean, there's a lot of use of negative space here, that's true. And maybe they're really just trying to throw us off, but I cannot see how to make the negative space work here. Because this just lines up so well. And I cannot get it to line up any other way. That is... I mean, obviously, otherwise it would be like this, and then... Right, that's an angle that blocks a substantial amount of paths, but not enough. For example, this is possible. This is all possible, right? And the suggestion from board face, I see. I see. We need all the caffeine that we can get. Also, really, I should finish this bottle because I need to have this out of my system before going to bed, which um, it's not going to be soon enough, but whatever. <laughs> A 
a detail to its presentation. What detail? All of these were going... All of these are shaped, uh, are patterned after trees in some way. So this one, this one, if I can get it to line up, but you know, you get the idea. And this one, except we needed to look at it from outside. This one we needed to look at in reverse. Is this significant in any way? Can we look at this in reverse? I mean, I could try projecting it onto this thing like so. But that also, I cannot get that get this to line up. It's designed to line up in the from the other side. Also, all of these start in no okay wait but uh, I could flip this but I don't think that's it no that would be infuriating if that would have been it I tried because this one lines up in start and end if you flip it uh, along its horizontal axis. But these ones are flipped, uh, at least start and exit are flipped along their, uh, along their vertical axis. And then, but then there's not really a strong relation between how they were, how the paths work. All right, so I was thinking something to that effect that these two are related in some way that we can then use to say puzzle two is related to puzzle three in the same way puzzle one is related to puzzle four. Because there's such, there such a nice symmetry in how the starts and exits work. I mean, it's, it's a horizontal mirroring here and a vertical mirroring on the other side, but still. Are these related in some way? No, they can't be. If, if there's some sort of relation between number one on the right and number two on the left, I absolutely don't see it. Um, so given this sequence of four puzzles, right? One, two, three, four. Am I right in assuming that there's a relation of two is related to three, three in the same way that one is related to four and I need to find out that relation or am I just going completely bonkers here? Is that heading in the right direction? Bonkers. Okay, cool. Just to make sure we're not going down wild paths. Um, okay, another yes, no question. Do I need to have the blinds in a specific position to see the thing I need to see? Blinds are not required to see the information you need to solve this panel. Fantastic. Okay, so that's one string cut off. I'm trying to see if there's any recognizable pattern in the stone tiling. 
But I don't think I can see anything that jumps at me. Let's Or is there? But then, hmm, how would that be related to the previous hint of there's something in the presentation of previous panels that would be relating to that? in the presentation if one of the previous puzzles in this area has a detail to its presentation that is similar to what you need to do here given that you've said one of the one of the puzzles in this area so that's going to be around this building maybe potentially these but the blinds are not required so it can't be these guys on the left side and it can also not be anything that requires looking through here to see it I think it can really only be the ones in the middle and I'm getting stuck on the stone tiling that feels the the way it has this very particular pattern to it feels significant that feels like it aligns with uh, with a fine grid like like this one the the brown one i was answering the question about the blind specifically referring to info you need to solve the last panel and did not uh did not the answer referring to my hint Oh, jeez. So I was looking. I was looking. Uh, since we know, there are some clearly delineated shapes here. Mostly this three-piece and this two-piece. Did not answer one way or the other about whether the plants we needed to see the hint I was referring to. Never mind. Um, no, it's not. It's not cleanly adhering to a grid. These these tiles, because I was thinking, since we have a three panel, is there uh, a three uh, three square piece? Can we find this in the tiling somewhere? But I think I'm going crazy looking at these stone tilings now in, in this immaculate detail. Now I'm wondering if the leaves make any particular pattern on the ground. Maybe I... Huh. Ah, what is this? Do we need to fit this in here somewhere? Do we need to fit this in there somewhere? If yes, how? Oh shit. Is it like so? Let's not sure if I'm guessing on this one, but like so no yeah, because that's
this piece really is unique in being the one piece that's just lying on the floor like this. There's nothing else like this. No other twig with such particular a shape. But how, how does it fit in here into the pattern? Because if we are including this, and we are going under the assumption that it's positive space, that we need to fit this twig in somewhere to connect everything together. And I was thinking, it's like one, 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 two. I mean, this thing, I don't know, is this thing two or is it one and a half? Because then it could be attached to here, but that doesn't really make sense. And it would be going down like so. And then what is this about? But there's no other way this would fit in. It's, no matter where it's going, it's two angles in every direction and then it would be right it, it can also not be going from here because then it would be I uh, basically I would need this to fit in somehow if I'm and I was trying to get it to fit in here then it would but it doesn't really work because then this is double and this is just missing. Is this what I'm looking for? <laughs> is this the missing piece? Do I need to go into negative space and then try and see, can I block the rest of using this piece somehow? No, that also can work because still I have this problem up here that I can choose two paths. And even if I'm putting something here to restrict my po possibilities, that wouldn't be enough. Also, if I'm going with this instead, which, I'm, uh, which I don't think is correct because that's the guide for the other puzzle. Then, hmm. Then this doesn't line up either. I'm seeing, are there any weird angles that possibly form patterns here? And by the way, that, that was actually a question to chat whether this piece belongs to the puzzles, to the solution, to this solution for this puzzle. Because I don't think I've used it for anything else. Right? It's, it's like point and click adventure logic. You use everything for exactly one thing. It does. But how does it, how does it, how? I mean, if this fits in the exit, right? As I said, this is not long enough to be just two notches on the grid. So this could also be one notch on the grid and then the exit. And I'm fitting it in like this. It's, it goes like that, but then that also doesn't line up. And I'm just entirely ignoring this guy, which feels unmotivated. Wait, yeah, this guy, this guy doesn't belong to the solution for the other puzzle. So it's not like it's just the thing that I need to ignore, right? This is the solution to that puzzle. And this is the guy that's throwing me off. Where am I supposed to put this in?
right? If I'm if I'm putting this in that this is the exit point, then it goes here. Does it go like this? Yeah, it goes like this. It goes over, over, and it ends here, where nothing of the other stuff connects. I mean, I could try and turn it around another way, but at this point it becomes arbitrary again. I could just have it connect any which way. Right? Like, just have it go here, for example, and then use this branch just just wired up so to say that feels arbitrary i mean maybe i need to do that but this this thing feels like it's where it's broken off because it's not fulfilling the grid and it's and it fits this piece being slightly longer so then that would be I will be disappointed if this works, but still, this is what the branch still attached to the tree does. Then the broken branch does this, but then by this point we can merge with the other one and it doesn't work. Thank you, <laughs> because that would be stupid. I really feel like I should give up at this point because I'm, I'm, I don't know. But I mean, I, I have... I have found this now. It's merely a question of how does this fit in? Can we... Once again, this note from 20 minutes ago. One of the previous puzzles in this area has a detail to its presentation that is similar to what you need to do here. And I'm really unsure what is meant by that. And And specifically one of the previous puzzles, it's not your clothes. It's specifically one of the previous puzzles, the way it was written. I mean, maybe Portface will come in and tell me that I'm reading too much into this, but I think this, like this looks clean. And if I'm trying to do the same here, it absolutely does not look clean. If I'm, if I'm trying to put these blocking paths instead of marking paths like so like this is obviously lining up fantastically and the other thing isn't how do the other trees how do the other things combine to form paths? And for this one, it was just that. Right, it did form a network where we were not taking all the paths. Like this over here is a path that we didn't end up taking, even though it was part of it. And this as well. And this as well. So it stands to reason that we would form a network where we're not using all the paths. Just one that connects us to the end. But this one, if I'm putting it here, it doesn't line up. We don't get a full connection. I mean, maybe I just need to make the connection, but once again, it feels like guesswork. And so I feel inclined to say thank you to the, this not working. <laughs> If we have this branching, but this one not, can we attach it in a way that it makes a plausible branch? I mean, that's what I was going for before, that I was saying this attaches here but then I was doing I was going here 
and then it's doing this pattern and I was doing no I already tried this and what the fuck what what is this I will be probably more infuriated than relieved when I finally figure this out because it's taken me across today and uh, and last time potentially well maybe not an hour but we will see how far we go <laughs> I've certainly been at this for half an hour, so it's already the longest puzzle of all so far. The one I was stuck on last time for a really long time was 18 minutes. So I need to fit this in here. Yes or no? It's not something else. I mean, you're saying you you were saying that I'm close, so. I mean, that could go both ways. It could go like, this is the piece that you need to do something with, but you need to do it in a different way. Is it just that I'm... I mean, this particular way that we you have four angles in succession. The only thing that comes close to this is this segment, but that's one two, three uh, such corners and not a fourth. If I'm overlaying this here, I could say that I'm drawing from here instead, but then it, it still doesn't get me, uh, it still doesn't cover the entire distance. We could overlay it so that it covers down here, right? So it, it goes from here, over here, over here, over here, over here. So it closes this gap and it does it and it does so by coming from here. So we need to do like so, but it also feels arbitrary. But with all of the puzzles up until now, I've, I've always seen, okay, I, I understand why this is the right solution and why, why all of the steps that I took were required. The problem is I'm stubborn. I should probably just let this go and come back to this another time, but I don't want I I don't want to this to be just a meme that every stream I come here and stare at this for 20 minutes. Reiterating everything that I've said before. I just want to have this done and over with. And I'm not seeing how to do this at all. One to a bit more than three so we cannot just lay this down stretching horizontally so would be a great meme though i don't know okay from this angle it looks like just straight two notches So maybe this is double the length of this and it's and it is really just about uh, if I had see-through paper I would draw it on see-through paper now so I could slide it around on screen it would not be visible to you but it uh, <laughs> I feel like I could better visualize where it could go I can still only see it doing something like this. But then again, it's, it still feels completely arbitrary. So like going down, over, down, over, down, over. Uh, down, over, down, over, down. Did I not try this? What the shit? Did I not try this yet? Huh? I mean, I guess, I guess that's how, I saw you trace out this exact line with the cursor 15 minutes ago and then you didn't try it. Because it felt arbitrary. Yeah, 
We didn't drive it down two of the stick first. I mean, I I guess I guess that's the only orientation. That, okay, never mind. Let's move on. Let's never speak of this again. Um. Is that a laser? It feels like... Okay, that's a laser. Cool. I guess... It's the only place the stick can fit where both ends contact the different parts of the puzzle. Yeah, no, I, I I, didn't argue with it further because I can see it, but... Yeah, I was probably thrown off by looking at it in the in a weird angle and not reading this as, as two things, uh, as, as two notches of the grid. Anyway. There we go. Okay, 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 let's go somewhere else. I mean, alternatively, we are at 236, so that, uh, 246, so that would also be potentially a place to leave it off for now, but I'm just trying to go someplace. Let's, let's explore a little bit before we end it off. For example, there's this building over here, which it appears I've already opened up. Or did I? Oh. I see, I see. That's that's another one of these. That is another one of these, isn't it? Okay, but Is it not just drawing out this path for me to... Uh -huh. okay. Wait, but... Uh, huh? I can see that it's drawing out things for me, but... Yeah, I think I need to... Probably need to follow the drawing on uh, the... The absence of moss, even though there's rubble that I need to circumvent. Okay, we're drawing this out again. We have a five by five grid of paths starting here, ending here. We have Deliberately tricky or deliberately mean? That's up for debate. I mean... Four, okay. So, this is blocked. This is blocked. Um, I'm... I'm intent to just let this slide because I think for every person there's going to be one puzzle that just doesn't uh, vibe with how they're thinking at all and or where it just gets stuck because you're seeing something the wrong way and for me it was that way uh, I started drawing this the wrong way so I just switched my orientation there okay, so this is just entirely blocked off and this part is also blocked Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, this edge is... Wait. Am I? No. Am I getting confused at what I'm doing here? One, two, three, four. 
Now the next edge, one, two, three. They are they are all blocked off. They are all blocked off. <laughs> this is prob probably not very riveting what I'm doing right now. I'm just mapping out edges that exist or do not exist, and I'm so pumped to see my hypothesis being the wrong way that it's not the moss but the blockage. No, the, it, it cannot be the blockage because the uh, there's too many available paths if you if the blockage is what is the problem. So maybe with this we can just start drawing out a path. So we go up here, over here, down. Yeah, I need to disregard the blockage now and see where does it come out. It comes out here. Oh yeah, I was drawing my I was drawing my maze entirely wrong on my paper because I blocked out both moss and blockage when I should only be doing one of the two. Yeah, I should probably end it off soon. Uh I'm reaching my capacity for these types of things. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. What do we have here? <clears throat> I mean, I know what we have here, and this is. Aha! <laughs> I see. We need to fashion this into a block that uh, allows us to reach the other side. So these three will just align with whatever we're doing here. So we need to have one here, one here. And the other needs to be extended so we can do like this and this. Ah. Tell you what. I'll just put it like this and we will come back to this next time. <laughs> 